you have a x plus 3 whole square uh, minus 4 plus x and uh, 4 minus x is it right hmm. equals to x minus 1 whole square plus 1 oh, is the question right yeah okay, let's solve it so this part would become x square plus 6x plus 9 is it okay yeah hmm. i'll see no need of solving the brackets like 4 multiplied yeah, yeah. by 4 and this all. Okay. We know that it's a a square minus b square. So a square is a 16 here. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. So negative 16 and b square is a x square. Yeah. And we have a negative also outside. So this negative will be multiplied the negative x square and give me a positive x square. Is yeah. it right? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey. So in this side, we have a 2 x square minus 4x uh, plus 2 plus 1. Okay, yeah, I did a mistake. I didn't multiply the 2 with the 1. Okay, let's see. So, this x square, this x square, and this 2x square would be cancelled. Hmm. Yeah. All right. This would become a negative uh, 7. Yeah, yeah. Plus 6x equals, uh, this is a 3, so negative 4x plus 3. Is it right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. Uh, so I'm taking this 4x square in the left-hand side and this 7 in the right-hand side. Yeah. What will happen is it will become a 10x in the left-hand side and a 10 in the right-hand side, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So x would be 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made a mistake with subtraction. What mistake you did? Yeah, uh, plus 9 minus 16, and I wrote 5 for some reason. Ah, oh, 5, yeah. It's a uh, 7. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you just basically divide by the formula or something. something. By the formula? Which formula would you divide it from? Uh, A plus B squared. A plus B. No, no, no. Not like this. Uh, let's say I'm solving the A part. You know? The A part. Okay, let's see. That's the A. The question is x square plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so there is a proper technique of making a quadratic equation to a square again. Hmm. The first thing which is required is the coefficient of x square, this could be x square, y square, z square, anything. The coefficient of the square number should always be a 1, positive 1. Okay, if it is a negative 1, we need to change the negative sign. Hmm. It should always be a positive 1. That's the first requirement. Okay, the second step, we need to divide the coefficient of x by Two. Hmm. And whatever we are getting, we need to add this thing first and then subtract the thing. Okay. For example, in this question, I have a two. So what I will do, I will divide it by a half, or I can say multiply it by a half or divide it by a two. Same thing. Hmm. I'm getting a one. Right. So what will what I will do with the one is I will add the one first in the equation and subtract the one. And this will make no change in the equation because the one and one will be cancelled and they, we are getting the same equation. Okay, so that's the process actually. And yeah, that's it. You will get a quadratic, the squared equation. Hmm. For this question, you need not to do this stuff because the form that we have is really easy to make it an square yeah, because it's a straightforward yeah. thing. But sometimes what happens is you can get equations like this, some weird equations. Let's say you have a 2x square minus 3x plus 7. Does it look like a square thing? Hmm? It does okay. not. So for that, we need to follow these particular steps. Two simple steps. First, make the the coefficient of the squared number as a positive one. Second thing, the coefficient of x, what we need to do with this, we need to divide it by a two 
then the question that we will get, we need to add them, add it first and then subtract it. Okay, that's the simplest thing. The questions that you have in your book, uh, none of them have a coefficient other than a one for the squared number. So you need not to worry about the, the first step. Hmm. Yeah. It has made it very easy. Hmm. So all of the coefficient of the x square are already a one and none of them is a negative also. Oh, but yeah, yes, yes, yes. In question C, you have four. So yeah, we need to get rid of the four from this square. Hmm. Okay, we will, I will tell you the solution for C. Mm. B in is question, we have to like use the identities to solve this one. Yeah. Okay. Some questions are really straightforward, but yeah. in some question you need to practice this thing. Okay. Uh, I'm solving question C for you. Okay. Four x is squared plus four x plus one. Mm -hmm. Weird question. Hmm. It should not be like this. But they have this. All of the other questions that you have are completely straightforward questions. You need not to do anything. They are already in square. But this particular question, I don't know why they have written it like this way. Okay, if yeah, it's uh it's, uh, let's say yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it is also straightforward. You need not to worry. It's just simply this. That's it. Okay, so all the questions that you have are